everyone. I'm here with Nicole Hansen again. Uh, Nicole is a certified nutritionist and love to get her input and uh, her insight and just give you some of her education. So um, welcome, Nicole. Thank you for having me. Always nice to be here. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, you guys go back and look at some of these other um, video interviews with Nicole because they're really good. So go find them on the channel and uh, like them and subscribe. So let's talk about boron. Boron is something that not a lot of people talk about. It's something I take, but you know, I'm the supplement whack ball. <laughs> uh, so boron does a lot of things. It's a trace mineral, right? Yes, it is. It's a, it's a trace mineral that affects your hormones and enzymes metabolize metabolism. It helps the immune function function. It helps bo bone formation, brain function. Um, and it, it's kind of that lost mineral. Like nobody's talking about boron. And I remember doing a ton of school projects with my kids with boron, but it's actually very good for the body. <laughs> yeah. Um, just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, just a little tiny bit. We'll do a, a big punch in it. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. you can find boron naturally in prunes, avocados, apples, pears. Actually, you can find it in coffee, um, good quality coffee. I'm kind of a coffee snob because it, if you don't, it comes with a ton of mold. But um, yeah. potatoes, dates, and even honey. Honey's a big one. So, um, and that's a very good natural thing for a lot of things. So um, I get, I use honey for boron effects as well. Um, but what does it do? Uh, lots of people have no idea what boron does, and it's actually in quite a bit of supplements out there to enhance other characteristics of that supplement. Um, it reduces the enzymes that cause an inflammatory response. So it's really, um, it's really good for, to help with mineral absorption. It's kind of that little catalyst that helps other things be absorbed. Um, one of the big things is that it really helps magnesium. So if you have somebody who has really bad migraines, I always give them a little bit of boron because it will help the uptake of magnesium. But some of the, yeah, some of the other things that are just like phenomenal that you just wouldn't think about is osteoarthritis, um, rheumatoid arthritis. It's really good in healing those things. Um, helps wound healing. It's huge with the lupus. It's huge with uh, helping lupus. And it's an antifungal, antiviral, and an antiparasitic. Um, so you guys, when I have people who have um, parasites in the stomach, or they have a really bad viral infection or a gut infection, I use boron to, to help push that out of the system. So you want to make sure you don't take too much, right? Yeah, absolutely. And like we talked about, Steve, beforehand, um, it's kind of good to keep the body guessing with boron. You, I always start people on three uh, milligrams, but you can fluctuate that like you do for yourself. You kind of heavy hit it for a week and then you come back down in between, um, you know, 10, three and 10 for a week and then you come back down, that's exactly what you wanna do. It's kind of like food. You wanna keep the body guessing so that it doesn't get used to everything that you're doing and it's not beneficial for you anymore. So let me, I'm gonna let you give me some advice because I'll tell you why I take it. I'm on testosterone replacement therapy. I take it to keep my estrogen down because uh, sometimes it starts to float up for me. So. I know if I take maybe 10 milligrams, 15 milligrams, you can only get away with that for maybe a week or two before it's going to stop working. So that's why I, I fluctuate it. I'll go down and, and take three milligrams. So w do you approve of my strategy? Absolutely. 100%. Matter of fact, I have a couple that I'm um, helping them with nutrition and this kind of stuff because she has PCOS, he has low testosterone. And that's kind of exactly what I'm doing with him is 
I will have him on three milligrams and then right close to her cycle where she's going to have that ovulation, I bump him up to 10 milligrams for that week. So it's really beneficial because he also has estrogen that creeps up into his testosterone. So that's exactly how I do it. Wow. That makes me feel really good. It makes me feel smart at something. <laughs> so, all right. So listen, everybody, boron is a great supplement. Go out and do some of your own research. You know, I always encourage people to go do some of your own research. And there's a lot of uh, great doctors out there on YouTube that will tell you about boron and you, you can find some good, some other good videos on there. So Anything else that you would add about boron? You know, the only thing I would add about boron is that it's really, really good for the thyroid too. So I do about the same thing we just talked about. I do for my thyroid people. Once we have that in a more optimal range, we play with boron also because it's very good for magnesium, vitamin D, and that is key to a thyroid. So... Um... We thank you so much, Nicole. Now, Nicole, with her degree, can um, operate across state lines. I know we get a lot of people from New York and Los Angeles listening to us. So how do people get a hold of you if they have questions for you? Just email me at thegutgirl1 at gmail.com. Thegutgirl1 at gmail.com. Yeah, that and uh, you guys have other questions. I know Nicole is very helpful and just I really appreciate her. She's helping my wife also. So, Nicole, thank you so much for being with us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.